That's what you get for calling me ugly. <laughs> no, not call you ugly. I texted you saying you're ugly. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah Blank. I've known Mohammed for about six to seven months now. We dated for about um, three months or so, it was short-lived. From the beginning of the relationship, he was very consumed with work. About a week or two at the end of the relationship, I was leaving out of the country. I was going to Saudi Arabia for about 10 days, and he made absolutely no time to see me, and that was my breaking point. My name is Mohammed Malik. So Sarah and I were together for two months. It went pretty well. In my, in my opinion, it went pretty well. For some people, I'm way too busy. <laughs> so Sarah didn't like that. I told her I tried my best to, to make the most time I can for her. But when I say like I don't have time, I mean it, I don't have time. And that's how it ended, over text. I'd like him in my life. He inspires me. I, I've told him this over text message, but I don't think I ever told him face to face, so that's going to be a little interesting. I think I'll be able to describe him good, and I think he'll be able to describe me really well. He's very observant. There's a few things I do remember about Sarah, but not everything. Hi, my name is Haven AQ from Los Angeles, California. I'm an artist and today I'm going to be doing forensic style drawings of couples based on their descriptions and try to translate that into an actual drawing. When describing their ex, they can't have any emotion. It has to be very clear. You don't want to be overly flattering. Just be straightforward and just give it like it is. All right, let's do this. Basically, would you say she has like a, a thin face, a round face? A thin round. Does that make sense? Does he have a big head? I think it's a medium-sized head. He's a little, uh, like, oval-faced. How long is her hair? She wears a hijab, so it's like, if someone was wearing a beanie, but it's not, like, all the way down to their eyebrows, yeah. it's probably, like, to their hairline. Her eyes are... Like, almond-shaped, but a little bit bigger. Big? Yeah. Would you say she has um, big lips? No, no. Very... She has a very small upper lip. He has a beard. He has a nice beard. He has a um, small mustache with it. Does he have a big nose? Not big, like vertically, a little bit big horizontally. Oh, so he has a wide nose. Yeah, and his bottom lip is just um, a smidge bigger than his upper lip. Is he sexy? <laughs> is her nose long or is it short or? Like it's a pear-shaped. What about her eyebrows? Are they, she shapes them? A bit curved. They're not too thick. They're like moderate sized. Anything else you could think of that stands out with her? Nah, that's about it, man. What's up? <laughs> you guys ready to see the results? Yeah. yeah There's yours. There's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Drake with a beard. <laughs> this is great. I, I didn't get you too bad. <laughs> I, I, look, I look like Drake with a beard, guys. I, I think this is quite accurate. You got my nose and eyebrows really, like, done. You messed up on the lips, though. That's not what <laughs> they really look like. You have no. <laughs> After the breakup, it, I tried to, like, delete the image of him from my brain not seeing each other after the yeah. breakup and then seeing each other for the first time was here. It was a great way to break the ice. Now I feel like reconnected in a good way. I'd like him in my life. He inspires me. I, I've told him this over text message, but I don't think I ever told him face to face. I don't think I would pursue a relationship with Sarah. When we broke up over text, I, I kind of thought it was childish. For me personally, it's better that we have a professional and like a friendly relationship rather than having a more intimate relationship. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. It's okay. I'm sorry oh, okay. too. Okay. Like, well, no, I was, I was like, like, and like I'm sorry crazy, if crazy, I made busy. it any like harder for you to say how you felt because that's not that was not my intention. Mm. And when I did cut you off, it's because I need I needed to like just recollect myself. I was leaving the uh, Saudi Saudi. I was leaving the Saudi but Arabia you're gonna come back. for ten days. You're bro. gonna come back. I should have I should have totally communicated, like, which I didn't. You're fierce too. Like absolutely, you, you have a fire too. So you should have. It's like I wanted something. I wasn't asking for a lot. I was for, just to see you. I wanted to see the guy I liked at that time. I was just busy. Oh no, my God. Such an excuse. There's no such thing as being too busy for someone. That's a lie. Yeah, it is. No. Absolutely. Those are still friends. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay, hold on. Boom. I didn't want to do that. <laughs>